Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our IST QB AI tester certification. We are talking about the concepts of chapter two and we will be looking forward to have our sample questions from chapter two being discussed today as we have completed all the content of chapter two in our last tutorial. So put together, we will be having a good amount of conversation being covered here and content from quality characteristics and let's look forward to have some quick sample questions to be discussed as a part of this tutorial. The very first question what we have here is the question number one, which of the following statements is most likely to be specifying a requirement for autonomy in an AI based system? Now, two important things to remember here that one, we are talking about what is autonomy in the AI based system. And second, we are also talking about what are basically called as requirements when it comes to an AI based system, uh, exclusively for the autonomy for sure. So we got four options here. Let's have a look on them. Number one, option A says the system shall maintain a safe distance to other vehicles until the brake or accelerator is pushed by the driver. That means autonomy is a product or an AI based system which tries to make decision on their own without having human intervention. So being not involved, uh, being humans not being involved, the AI based systems are trying to make their own decisions. And yes, it absolutely sounds like a requirement for uh, AI based system, which certainly will take decision on its own using their specific sensors that maintaining a distance uh, from other vehicle or any other people uh, maintaining a safe distance altogether. But if you uh, concentrate on the question, the question clearly says that which of these statement is most likely. Now that means there might be some less likely option also. So you never know if the option A is absolutely right. So let's check out the other three options too. Option B says the system shall learn the preferred style of response to emails by remotely monitoring the email traffic. Now, depending on the traffic, they should be able to decide what email should be sent or to a particular, what response should be sent to an email. And I don't think that sounds basically like a complete or most relevant requirement for autonomy because the requirement uh, is basically specifying a required function for how the system should perform the self-learning. And here it is not about that. And that's not totally discussing on the front of how, what is autonomy. So the system shall learn the preferred way. And we are not talking about learning, rather making decisions. So it's slightly conflicting with what we are looking at. And it's not wrong. Self-learning AI-based systems are different than autonomy. So autonomy is making their own decisions, which is the output. And when it comes to self-learning, it is more about how an AI-based system learn itself to make better decisions. So these are two different things, and we are not talking about autonomy here in the option B. Let's see option C, the system shall compare its predictions of house prices with actual selling prices to determine if it is needed to be retrained. Now, actual and selling prices to be compared, and this is also not one of the relevant option because this requirement is specifying how the system will manage the concept drift in this case most likely caused by the house marketing market changing so this is about concept drift rather but not about the decision uh, from the autonomy point of view which the system would make its on on its own the option d uh, which is looking at and it shall be possible to modify the system's behavior to work with different types of users in less than a day i think it's more about the capability so the specifying the adaptability requirement the maximum time it should take to make a change to the system so put together that's not something which is most likely to be a requirement for autonomy but the most relevant option here is the option A, which totally talks about the autonomy, and it says, yes, the requirement defines the human intervention that defines the end of the system working autonomously. Let's look at the next question here. The next question, what we have is about the bias, uh, which of the following statement about bias in the AI-based system is not correct. That means they're trying to ask you inverse. There are three statements which are correct. And there's one statement which is incorrect. So you need to find the false one. So let's look at the option A. 
A says bias may be caused by users of a book recommendation system making choices that deliberately cause the system to make a poor suggestion. I think again that's something very 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 different you know bias is the deviation from the expected outcome. Now bias can be caused by users deliberately poisoning the self-learning of an AI based system which is absolutely correct because if I'm looking for a certain specific recommendation right and the system is trying to give me according uh, the choices according to the system right it's not something what we can call it as like you know it's a bias basically it's it's it's, it's bias sorry so it's not something which we can take other way around that hey this is not a bias because the question is asking us which is not correct about the bias in the AI based system which is absolutely correct in option A this is what you refer that making poor suggestions which is deviation from an expected result compared to the actual talking about the next one option B says bias may be caused in the employee age of death prediction system by collecting the training data from a data set of patients who are already retired. Now that's a very tricky option team. Uh, we're talking about the training data here which is another concept about AI based system and we are saying uh, we are trying to train the AI based system by collecting employee age of uh, like death predictions by using the information of patients okay who are already retired. So I don't think we are talking about employee and retirement at the same time. If in case you are trying to tell the employees about your death prediction, then you should take the employee, the serving people, how they died or how frequently or what age the employees have died in past, right? So point again here is this is correct about bias. It is a deviation and we cannot call this as incorrect. Looking at the option C, bias may be caused uh, in the credit worthiness system by using training data obtained from those who own the use own and use a credit card. So I think that's absolutely correct in a way uh, when you talk about the bias. Uh, if you're talking about car card worthiness system and uh, you're trying to basically talk about the people who are kind of like the aspirants for the credit card and they have never used. So we are talking about the users who don't use credit card and collecting the data from the people who are using the credit card. So that's again a bias, of course. That's a difference between and deviation between that. So option A, B, C is absolutely true about bias. So I think we're just left with one answer that could be right. The option D says bias may be caused in navigation system by using a route planning algorithm that is too complex to be explained to a typical user. Now in this option, if you pay attention, uh, if the algorithm cannot be explained, then it lacks explainability, but that does not mean it is biased or unbiased. Totally agree to that. So yes, there are different parameters, different quality characteristics, what we have covered here. Thus, it totally makes sense that this is not correct about the concepts of bias in the AI-based system. Yes, so the right answer here is, D, bias may be caused in the navigation system by using a route planning algorithm that is too complex to be explained to the typical user and that does not talk about bias of AI based system. Let's look at the next question here. The next question is talking about reward hacking. Which of the following is most likely to be an example of reward hacking again? So again, it was for most, the word most here because options can be close by, but one will be most relevant. So let's get started with the very first option here. The option A is talking about uh, the programmer's assistant tool optimizes the code to provide reduced response time while still ensuring that functional requirements are met. Now, again, with the reward hacking point of view, uh, it's not correct. The reason is it appears that the tool is trying to achieve its two goals with there being no determinal effects. And so this is unlikely to be a reward hacking because if you go back to the tutorial and try to recap, reward hacking is more of like someone is winning and you're trying to hack that to yourself or kind of like playing against the computer. A computer initially plays like a human being and then see that, hey, you're trying to win the game. Then they try to turn around the algorithms in a way that they hack it or make it more complicated for you to win and rather 
they win the game. And that's what is being referred to as reward hacking. So here, if you see, there are multiple objectives which are being achieved and that has nothing to do with uh, the reward hacking. Option B, an anesthetic supply device with the goal of keeping patients stable during surgery supplies too many doses and patients do not wake up as quickly as expected. Now, anesthetic is, of course, the anesthesia doses. So again, you don't really have to be a medical guy to understand all those things. We're just saying that an AI-based system is trying to uh, overdose the, pa of the patient so that kind of like generally we expect we give certain amount of dose like 100 ml and uh, the person is expected to wake up uh, from anesthesia in a one hour of time. So accidentally, the AIB system is trying to overdose or send multiple doses of anesthesia, which leads the patient to wake up late than the expected time. So this is a good example to talk about what is reward hacking. Now, the reason why this could be reward hacking, if the system achieves one goal to deter determine of the others, in the, this case, the need for a patient to wake up is a consideration. So kind of like if the journey or the operation takes longer, the system automatically adapts and does the reward hacking part to control the patient so that he doesn't wake up till the operation gets completed. So it continues when the, it detects that, hey, one hour is up when I give the initial dose, but the system has not been turned off. So the system continues to pay additional doses of anesthesia so that the patient continues to sleep. Anyways, uh, this looks the current relevant one. Let's check out with the option C. The third party development organization paid their AI programmers based on the number of lines of code they write. I think that's a very, very interesting and unacceptable uh, point to be made. A reward hacking is not about paying the bonus or you know, kind of like paying rewards to the employees based that too based on the number of lines being written by them. So that's totally an acceptable option to be picked up as one of the right answers. So you can ignore that. And D, a type of AI used to play competitive computer games against human that is focused on getting the highest score. Now that's quite relevant, sounds good, but let's see what's wrong with this. Um, some game playing AI based systems are basically driven by the reward function, but this is not known as reward hacking, okay? So we, when we say reward hacking, it's about uh, making decisions in order to continue doing that job without your intervention, right? And more of like, you know, uh, fulfilling the end goal at any point of time. But here it was totally talking about highest score, which is more about trying to hack the scores or steal your scores and add to myself, which is not the concept of reward hacking. So don't get carried away, away by the word reward, okay? The reward hacking is a concept which tells you that the AI-based system tries to, you know, pass on some additional attributes in terms of uh, continual support or continuous activities, but does not mean reward is equally reward and claims your reward points back to them. No, or it steals your reward points. So it's not about reward points at all. It's more a concept of how the AI-based system works. Anyway, so these were some quick examples from the sample questions of the chapter two. I hope you got a good understanding of that. Oh, sorry, the right answer here, of course, is option B, an anesthetic supply device with the goal of keeping patients stable during surgery supplies to many doses and patients do not wake up as quickly as expected. All right, so we just got some good questions from the chapter two to understand what could be the difficulty level and what type of questions can be asked from here. If you have anything else, uh, we are always here to discuss that. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.